What up dudes? ZR car here back again with another video. And today I just wanted to take a look at the Honda Passport Elite. It's the 2020 model. You guys have seen it before. The color's modern steel. It does have some metallic in it. I got the black leather with the Elite model. I'll show you that metallic. You can kind of see it in the sun there. Pretty, pretty nice. Nice color. So I finally ordered the hitch for this thing. Should be here uh, maybe tomorrow, hopefully. So I ordered it from Bernardi's. And one thing that kind of is a bummer is this glass, this, this gloss black um, gets replaced by kind of the flat black that you see on the, on the, on the, reg, on the rest of the bumper. So that's kind of a bummer, but I think it'll be worth it, especially with winter coming. If I get stuck or if I want to pull somebody out, I just don't have a lot to work with back here. I do carry my tow rope with me. I kind of took advantage of the of this spot out back here. So I got my tow rope back there. The front's got a little a little tow hook. It's kind of kind of weak, but just wanted to give you a 6200 mile update real quick really digging these LEDs I did a video on the Silverado versus the Passport on the LEDs last and these are just a little brighter at night those fog lights and the LEDs just really work well together sorry about that wind noise kind of dirty right now. I'll probably wash it today or tomorrow. One of the reasons that I wanted to do a quick update is because of the gas mileage. So I just uh, drove probably 25 miles and had a little bit of a tailwind. And I got almost 30 miles per gallon. So I'll let you look at the trip computer. So you know I'm not lying. It's almost like a challenge for me to see what kind of gas mileage I can squeak out of this thing. Take a look at the trip meter. So, like I said, 25 miles with a little tailwind. Squeezed almost 30 miles to the gallon out of it. Pretty dang good for a 280 horse V6. Pretty awesome. So, keep in mind that is with that econ mode on. So, it kind of makes the... Um, throttle a little lethargic Let's take a look at the rest of the trip here, so I've got 103 miles on this tank Averaging about 25 miles per gallon You can see the rest the last tank 431 gallons 414 this one's kind of weird this 540 because I threw 20 bucks in there and so it kind of screwed it up but it's at three quarters right now, and I've got 100 miles, so not bad, not bad. A little bit of that was with the AC on. It's got kind of cold here in Montana, 68 degrees, so it's just about perfect. A couple things I wanted to talk about was uh, um, the braking mitigation. 
So every time I get in, I have to hold down this button right here. And it turns off that braking system because I still am getting those stinking false brakes. So it just, it'll shake the wheel and then it pops up a big sign saying brake, brake, brake. So it kind of is startling and it, it never, it never happens under 50. Like you have to be going pretty much over 50 miles per hour. You can change the gap. So it's so it's it happens at a short interval or medium or 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 long, um, and I think I have it at long at long, and it helped a little bit. But I just turn it off now, and you're kind of stuck with that orange braking sign in the corner right there. So it's got sixty one eighty three for the mileage, and. Uh, just want to give you a quick update how everything was going. I really like it. Um, brake mitigation still is a problem. If you guys have the Honda Ridge Line or Pilot or even another Passport, let me know if you're having problems with that. I haven't talked to the dealer mainly because I can just turn it off. But um, that's about my biggest gripe. That dang mitigation. It's just a real pain in the butt. So. If you guys have a vehicle that has this Honda Sensing, let me know if you're having problems with that. I wish I could just make it disabled at all times, and that'd be fine. But another thing I like to talk about is the throttle feel. Um, it's got good uh, pedal response. Basically, you can uh, um, you can really um, be accurate with that pedal. Um, so good pedal response for the accelerator and then uh, with that econ mode on it makes it a tiny bit lethargic but if I turn that econ mode off I and I draw and I drove pretty heavy foot I bet it would probably get 20 miles to the gallon if I was pretty heavy on the pedal all the time so those numbers aren't bad there though 25 miles per gallon that's it's actually pretty respectable um, I wish that wireless charge would work down here it works but like sometimes it's just a, it's it's really annoying because it'll it'll go on and off on and off on and off and my phone will start getting hot so I end up just keeping that wireless charger off so if you're buying a Honda vehicle for the wireless charger don't do it um, my Silverado doesn't have one, and the uh, bunch of the new Chevys have it. So hopefully theirs work way better than the Hondas, because Honda needs to do something with that. That's ridiculous. Let's see. Pretty soon I'll be able to use the old heated steering wheel on the Elite model. Won't take long. One cool thing that uh, I um, I just noticed recently was. Um, I never thought that these worked. I always thought they only turned on with uh, um, my key fob when I locked it and unlocked it. And it's just because they're really hard to see. So you can see it. I've been paying extra attention to it lately because I watch a couple of videos where Toyota Tacoma has the sequential light in in the mirrors, so that's really cool. Still liking this transmission. I know people think it's kind of lethargic, but uh, or clunky. I think as some of the reviewers would say. And the only time that it's clunky is if there's a lot of slack in the drive line. So right now, I'll hit. And you can't, you couldn't hear any. There's no clunky, nothing like that. As far as shifting, it shifts smooth. So it works pretty well. If um, you're on a hill or something like that, or even in the morning, it can be a little slower to shift. And if there's any slack in the drive line, you'll hear a little bit of a clunk. But other than that, that transmission's actually pretty good. So. 
Just wanted to give you a little update. 61.83 on the mileage. I changed the, my, uh, the oil at 5,000, even though I definitely did not have to. And uh, I kind of have it in my head that um, all that metal from being new will probably end up in the oil the first 5,000 miles. So that's why I changed it at 5,000 miles. If you guys were wondering, I did a video on that. So, quick update for you. Do a little walk around. It's a tiny bit windy. Really like that metallic in there. She's a little dirty. Hope you guys are having a good summer with the kids back in school. If you're feeling awesome, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We'll catch you next time. Peace.